Come, Holy Spirit, and enkindle within us the fire of your burning love. In your blessed name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. Merry Christmas. Oh, holy night, the stars were brightly shining. It's a longing. It's an expectation. It's a hope for something tangible and concrete. It's a hope for something more. And how I long for this night. The darkness, the candlelight. How I long for this holy night when time folds and calls us back to a time oh so long ago, to a story we know so well. In those days, a decree went out, those days, a decree went out, that all the world should be registered. And Joseph went with Mary, to whom he was engaged. He was expecting a child. There was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living in the field, keeping over their, watch, their flocks by night. The glory of the Lord shone around them. The angel said, Fear not. They went with haste, and they found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. And the shepherds made known what had been told them. And Mary pondered all these words and treasured them in her heart. It is a story we know so well. And yet, I have to say, for as many times as I have heard it, sometimes I still forget. I forget that God has come near. I fail to remember the intersection of heaven and earth and divinity and humanity, I forget. Do you sometimes? In an interview in NPR's StoryCorps, Jeff and Penny Ingram tell their story of forgetting and remembering. Jeff has this rare syndrome, which is known as dissociative fugue, which causes him periodically to have his memory completely wiped out. And the past doesn't return. He has to rebuild his life, reconstruct it each time an episode happens. And in an interview, in their interview, Penny said, the first time you had an amnesia event with me, we woke up that day, said goodbye, you jumped in the car, got on the freeway, and then no one knows what happened from that point forward because you ended up halfway across the country in Denver. And I was going crazy. But then eventually you got on television and you asked America, to help you find out who you were, Jeffy said. And that, that's when she said, I called the police in Denver. And they put you on the phone and I said, hi, I'm Penny, I'm your fiance. And for you, it was like, she said, meeting me for the very first time all over again. And when you got home, I didn't even know what to do. I mean, so I offered to sleep in the other bedroom. I mean, considering you really didn't know me. But then time went on, and after a while, you called my mom, just like you had months before, and you asked her for my hand in marriage. She laughed. She said, again? <laughs> I already told you yes. But Jeff needed to hear it again. Isn't it a bit like that for us? We hear and we know unto you is born this day 
a savior who is Christ the Lord, and then slowly or suddenly, we find that we do not know, we forget. We live our lives longing and looking for something more. We live our lives with what amounts to something like a God-sized hole in our hearts. Tonight, as we walked through those doors or we tuned in online, I suspect that each and every one of us came hoping to have some part of that hole filled. Jeff Ingram says, my biggest regret about having these episodes is that I forget. So we come together tonight to hear this story and to sing these songs and to remember again that on this night some 2,000 years ago, our God came into this world so that it, you and I need never be alone. And outside, the rain falls, the sirens wail, and the world turns, and a baby is born, a light to enlighten the nations. So come what may, with COVID and its Greek alphabet, mutants, Delta, Omicron, I don't know, maybe Epsilon and Omega, come what may, we need not lose heart over this fragile world of ours, for our God is with us. Jeff Ingram, knowing that his memory is fleeting, he recorded a message to and for himself. And he said on the recording, if you have another episode, and you're in this position again of not remembering, trust Penny. Trust her explicitly with everything. You're meant to be together. You may not believe it in your mind, but you will believe it in your heart. Friends, it's in our hearts where this hope breaks open as we on this night remember once again that the angel said be not afraid for see i am bringing you good news of great joy for all people for unto you is born this day in the city of david a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And we remember on this most holy night. Amen.